Master Yen Sid. My name is Terra. Yes, Ericus's pupil. I've been expecting you. It is the unversed. Yes, Master Yen Sid. I thought it best to seek the counsel of one wiser than myself. I am no longer a master. I doffed that mantle. But sir, wasn't that your pupil I passed on the way in? He had a keyblade. You refer to Mickey. He too sought guidance here. As a king, he is good and kind. But the weight of a crown has not cured him of impetuousness. He has left with an object whose power he does not understand nor know how to control. Mickey imagines my Star Shard will be of help in his current quest. And like you, he is eager to use his Keyblade to set things right. I'm not sure I even understand what's wrong. Master Xehanort is missing. And now I've learned, there's a masked boy who is controlling those unversed on the loose. To arrive at the truth, perhaps you should approach things differently. First, consider them one and the same problem. Master Xehanort and the Unversed are connected somehow? I must not make assumptions. Find Xehanort, Terra. That is where you should begin. Yes, sir. I had hoped, Xehanort, your heart would no longer lead you astray. Terra! <laughs> Master Xehanort! Terra! Come see me at once. <laughs> Master Xehanort. I have been to other worlds. I know all about the things you've done. I just don't understand why. Someone had to safeguard the light from the demon I unleashed. You must know about the boy by now, the one in the mask. His name is Vanitas, a creature of pure darkness, one of my making. Vanitas? Are you telling me he came from you? He came from Ventus. Ventus? Yes. Venetus is the darkness that was inside your friend. It was an accident. While training with me, Ventus succumbed to darkness, and there was but one way to save him. Strip that part of him away, and thus Venetus was made. In the process, I damaged Ventus's heart in the most horrific way. So, I did what I felt was right and left him with Heracus. 
I knew the boy could not stay with me. The man who did him such grievous harm. Master Xehanort. Ventus has gotten a lot better since then. You shouldn't blame yourself for trying to save him. Well, thank you, lad. You know how to put an old man's heart at ease. So that's what it was. I'm Tara. What's your name? Ventus. Whew. You can talk. Aqua, come here. <laughs> So, are you here to train with us? Where are you from? Who is that man with you? You good with a keyblade? Whoa! What's the matter? Are you okay? What did you do? Nothing! I... I just asked him some stuff. Ventus cannot tell you anything. Because he cannot remember anything. Huh? Master, why is Venita still free? Ah, yes. Well, I did my best to contain him the moment he emerged, but... He managed to escape. Hmm. Venetus uses the Keyblade to sow seeds of darkness. And now you see the world's team with his ghastly underlings. <laughs> the Unversed. He has no control over the darkness in his heart. The Keyblade is not his to bear. He's an abomination beyond hope of salvation. Lend me your strength, Terra. Right this wrong that I have wrought. But I have no idea where to find him. What I can tell you about Vernitas amounts to this. His darkness is drawn to the light which he seeks to disrupt, and then destroy. <laughs> it stands to reason that he will strike next in the City of Light, Radiant Garden. Don't worry, Master. I'll take care of Vanitas. he hiding? <gasps> All right. What did you mean about Terra being a different person? Exactly what I said, idiot. The Terra you know will be gone forever. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. 
stupid or true. Uh, a keyblade? Good. Let's see what you're made of. That really all you got? Man, you are worthless. I'd be going against the Master's orders, but so what? As far as I'm concerned, the job here is done. are in trouble, and I sort of took off without telling him. Well, that makes both of us. I ran off too. All I have to do is think it, and the star shard will take me anywhere I want to go. At least I thought it would. I haven't quite got the fine points down like... when or where. It just kind of kicks in whenever it wants to. But I wouldn't have met you if it hadn't brought me here. You know, it might not be an accident. Maybe it starts working because it's reacting to something. Hmm. 
reversed. This can only mean Master Xehanort was right. What's Master Xehanort doing here? Maybe he found something out. <laughs> Why can't I ever seem to remember this address exactly? Hmm? Excuse me, Your Holiness. I believe you dropped this book. Did I? Oh, uh, I'm very sad to say this isn't one of mine, but what a remarkable book it is. This unassuming volume seems to have the unusual effect of awakening one's innermost abilities. A book that makes people stronger? If it's all right, Your Elderness, might I have a closer look? The name is Merlin. I'm a powerful wizard, and I'll have you know a lot of wisdom comes with age. Anyway, as I said, the book is not mine, but I'd be happy to keep it here for you. Thank you, Merlin. Hold on. The castle is presently closed. But somebody just came this way. He's a friend of mine. We aren't aware of any visitors. Now run along home, boy, before the monsters get you. I could have sworn it was him. Huh? They're here! Radiant Garden shall not fall under the lights of you. Leave this to me! Stop! But you're just a child! <sighs> now who do you think will defend the castle huh? if you two huh? go skipping off? But... that boy... Never you worry about him. He's a special case. A what? Evan is right. Lord and Castle come first. The boy will have to fend for himself. Which reminds me, his lordship was asking for you. A heart devoid of darkness, stripped clean of it at that. Very questionable. Back off, you fiend! <laughs> You'll not be getting my money! Uh, look out! I, I will! <laughs> Hold on. Wait a moment, laddie. Uh, don't I even get a chance to repair you? Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> now just hold your horses. I didn't mean the fortune. Maybe a wee bit of gold, uh, or a small token of... Well, could you make it fast? I know. I've just the thing in my hat. Hmm? <laughs> Come in. Huh? You can tell me, lad. You came here from another world, didn't you? Uh. <laughs> Don't worry. My bill is sealed. Your secret's safe with me. I'm not be asking you any awkward questions. You see, it is the same with me. I asked a wizard named Merlin to bring me here from another world. After all, adventure is the mother of industry, eh? Eh? Great! That all? Ugh, but I'm holding you up, lad, eh? Here, these are lifetime passes to Disney Town. Your little buckets of fun there. <laughs> <laughs> 
or my name is not Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> there you are. Enough for you and two grown-ups. Get a moment's peace. <laughs> Mister, get inside. It's not safe out here. Oh, ordering me about. Now that's unsafe. After all, I'm Merlin, the wizard. Oh, <laughs> another scamp looking to wake the powers inside him. Is that it? What? How'd you know? <laughs> we wizards have a knack for knowing such things. The book is inside on the table. You may have a gander if you like. What book? Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. Oh, oh what a well-mannered lass you are. Oh, I'd be pleased as punch to help you, if I can. I'm looking for a boy who's not from around here. Have you seen him? Hmm, I think I know just who you're talking about. He scampered off toward yon castle in a right hurry. Thank you so much. Oh. Tara, I hope you're still there. My name is Aqua. I train under Master Ericus. And I'm Mickey. I used to be Yen Sid's apprentice. I came back to him for some more training. I sense light within this girl. You think that's why they attacked her? Yep. I think you might be absolutely right. If you ask me, she must be somebody pretty extraordinary. <sighs> yes. I'm quite certain she's someone we're supposed to protect. Let's join forces! Oh no! Not now! I'll be okay! See you real soon! Here! Are these for me? I picked you some flowers. Thank you for saving me. Oh, they're lovely. You're so sweet. My name's Kyrie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Aqua. Kyrie, about that light. Kyrie! Oh. Oh, Grandma! Wait, Kyrie, just a minute. <sighs> I just cast a magic spell on you. One day, when you're in trouble, the light within you will lead you to the light of another. Someone to keep you safe. Thanks! 
There you are. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay. Oh. Uh, bye. <laughs> hey, Grandma? Hmm? What is it? Could you tell me that story? <laughs> Again, dear? Please. <laughs> Very well, then. <laughs> Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then, people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves, and darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Mm-hmm. Kyrie. Something tells me I didn't run into her by accident. First, it never ends. Over there. Ben? Ben. Terra, Aqua. <laughs> Got him. We make a good team. Sure do. Oh yeah, I got you these tickets. For what? Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to... He said to take two grown-ups. You mean us? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Ven. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that guy in the mask is history. I'll never badmouth Terra again. <laughs> you saw the boy in the mask? Uh, uh he... Yes? Venetus. Oh. Ven, you let Aqua take you home. No way! I want to go with you guys. You can't. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Terra? It doesn't sound like what the Master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You shouldn't put yourself so close to the darkness. Listen to yourself, Aqua! 
Terra would never- You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said to do? The Master's orders? He was only... Aqua? I get it. Terra! Just stay put! <laughs> I'm on my own now, alright? Terra, please, listen! The Master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried. You're awful, Aqua. Mm. So now you know the truth. But the Master loves Terra. And you know that too. Were you also ordered to take me home? Aqua, now that you're a Keyblade Master, you've let it go to your head. I'm gonna go find Terra. Just as I said it would happen, here's the third one. That book is almost more trouble than it's worth. Uh, uh, Say no more. The book you need to awaken the powers within you is just inside. Read to your heart content, my dear. I'm the third? Terra and Ventus were here? Master Xehanort is the only one I could still count on. You must be Terra. It's that old coot. He won't stop asking for you. I came all the way out here to get you, just so he'd clam up. What do you mean? Ha! Do I have to spell it out? Xehanort, whatever he's called. You know, my prisoner. <laughs> You're apparently not a very good liar. Master Xehanort would never let himself be caught by a thug like you. As if. I got the old coot at my mercy. See for yourself. I'm holding him underneath the outer gardens. Better show up before I lose my patience. Ciao. There's no way it's true. But no harm in looking. So, where are you? Answer me! Ah, there you are. Didn't I warn you not to wander off, child? I see we owe you our thanks. We have done our best to raise the boy, since his poor parents are not here to do it. Oh, you're on your own, huh? Sir, I'm looking for a friend of mine. He's a tall guy, dressed kind of like me. Have you seen him? Hmm. Perhaps I did see him in the Outer Gardens. Just follow this road. Thank you. No, thank you for keeping Yenso out of harm's way. And, well, let's say, I have a feeling we are destined to cross paths again. Master Xehanort! 
The old coot certainly knows how to take punishment. Just like I know how to deal it out. You monster! What are you after? That thing right there. It's called the Keyblade, isn't it? Yep. Seems like these days everybody's got one of those. Even Grandpa there. When I nabbed him, he told me all about it. What a weapon like that can do. How could I not want one? But you'll find they're picky about their owners. <laughs> if I heard the old guy right, you're what they call Keyblade Master Material. So if I defeat you, that makes me the real Keyslinger. If you catch my drift. Not the most polite way to go about it. But what can you do? Uh, uh, one more step and the coot goes boom. You think I'm gonna fight fair? As if. That key's too powerful for us to go mano a mano. <laughs> for a Keyblade Master, you're not very... What's the word? Good? What are you doing, Tara? Fight! But Master, you'll... Never mind me! You must fight! You can't let this ruffian win! Think of your master, Ericus! The shame he and your fellow pupils would be forced to bear! Use the Keyblade! <laughs> so much for the bluff. Done, Terra. You have taken yet another step forward. But I was consumed by anger. Hatred. That was the power of darkness. Darkness that you channeled. No. I succumbed to it. Just like when I stole Princess Aurora's Heart of Light. I can never return home now. I'm a failure. Then don't. You could be my pupil. <laughs> Master Ericus, you see, is so afraid of darkness that he too has succumbed. Not to darkness, but to light. It shines so bright, he forgets that light begets darkness. And Aqua and Ventus, their lights shine too bright. It is only natural that they cast <laughs> shadows on your heart. Ericus, you're such a fool! Light and darkness, they are a balance. One that must always be maintained. Terra, you are the one who shows the true mark of mastery. But he refuses to see it. And I know why. It is because he fears you. Join me. You and I can do the world's much greater good. By wielding light and darkness in equal shares. Master Xehanort. See more worlds. Seek out the darkness that upsets the balance. Find Vanitas and bring an end to him. Master Terra. Terra! 
Take me with you. I can't do that, Ven. Uh, why not? I just... When I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. <laughs> well, why wouldn't I? You're my friend. Yeah. You're right. Thanks, Ven. I just... When I really need you, Ven, I know you'll be there. Oh. I better tell Aqua. A mask? You're the boy that Ventus mentioned. Ah, yes. Ventus. Tell me something. Has he learned to put up a decent fight yet? What do you mean? I'll be asking the questions. And why shouldn't I? After all, between the two of us, I'm the only one who'll walk away from here alive. <sighs> yes, again! Are you? <laughs> Not bad at all. Congratulations. I'll keep you around. Never hurts to have a backup. I have to stop him before anything else happens to Terra and Ven. Aqua! Ven! Were you able to find him? Yeah, but... He's gone. Right. Then I can't stay here. Let me go with you, Aqua. No, Ven. Do as I say and go home. Why won't you let me? I don't want to put you in harm's way. You understand? Given up already? Come on, Ven. I thought you were stronger than that. Ven, you almost had him. Just try it again. Hey, wait. You're teaming up now? See all those dents and mix you got? Each one of those is proof you're learning. You're trying too hard to move your body. You need to learn to let your body move you. Right? <clears throat> In your hand, take this blade. And so long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be made. <laughs> What's that about? Who went and made you master? Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. 
Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share the same dream. This yours? Lee, we don't have time for this. Lighten up, Isa. It'll only take a sec. You still play with toy swords? That's cute. Mm. Now this right here... Ta-da! What do you think? Not a whole lot. You're just jealous. I'm Lee. Got it memorized? What's your name? Ventus. Okay, Ventus, let's fight. Fight? Why would I want to do that? You scared of losing? Come on. <laughs> Hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. You're gonna be sorry. You had enough? Because I'm willing to call it a draw if you are. Huh? <laughs> right. From where I stood, the only thing you drew was a big L on your forehead for loser, lame, laughable. What? Isn't this the part where you cheer me up or something? You're just having a bad day, or that's what you get for pulling your punches. <sighs> Some friend. Oh, you mean I was supposed to lie? You see what I gotta put up with? Sure hope you don't have friends like him. Huh? <laughs> 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 Lee, we have to go. Okay. Already? I'll see you when I see you. After all, we're friends now. <laughs> Get it memorized. Okay, Lee. What is it with you and picking up stray puppies? I want everybody I meet to remember me. Inside people's memories, I can live forever. I know I won't forget you. Believe me, I try all the time. See? I'm immortal. You're obnoxious. You ready? Well, I can tell you are. Must be nice. <laughs> Knowing who your friends are. Hey, you old coot! I didn't sign up to be collateral damage! No way! As if! Okay, okay, fine, fine! Just, just, just put that down. You still need me. You still need me to do something, right? And all I'm asking is that you hold up your end of the bargain. I mean, what's a little scratch on my face, huh? All things considered. I'm just lucky he didn't steal my heart like Princess whatever it was. 
That would have ruined my week for sure. Unlikely. A powerful light still lives inside of Terra. You see, people like him, they don't have the power to steal hearts. So wait, you mean... He's not the one who stole her heart? Mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giante. Uh, um. Young fellow, do my hero senses detect that you got troubles? Just say the word, and Captain Justice will make all your problems disappear. Uh, uh, who, who, me? Meow. I'm just trying to make some friends. Never mind. Forget it. Don't be intimidated by my magnificence. Go on and spit it out, then remember to vote Captain J. Vote? No, oh, well, uh, forget that. How can I help? That's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. I know. Tell me about your town. Everything's so festive. Is it always like this? Huh? That's it? Nothing else? Well, the festivities are on account of the Dream Festival, which is why I made sure there's carnival stuff all over town. Really? Like what? Oh, you gotta see it for yourself. Wouldn't be much of a dream if I just told you. Right. Thanks. And kid, don't you go forgetting. Captain Justice is the one who solved all your problems. That would be Justice with a J. Uh, sure. I got it, Captain Justice. Ah, oh, Philly! This stinks! Now we can't open the ice cream shop! Trouble! Rescue is on the way! A festival, huh? Well, maybe I can make some new friends. If it ain't the last kid Captain Justice saved, afraid you'll have to get in line. I'm working on another catastrophe here for these fellas. Huey, Dewey, and Louie were good friends. Now, I'd hardly call it a catastrophe. Yeah, all we were trying to do was make our own special recipe ice cream. And we had a little trouble. Come on, it's not really that big a deal. I'm 100% positive you're the victims of sabotage. Not even close. Quit making stuff up. It's just the ice cream machine. Uncle Scrooge left it for us, but we can't figure out how it works because it's so complicated. Oh, we're sorry, Queen Minnie. We wanted you to be the first to try our special recipe ice cream. Oh, boys, it was very sweet of you to think of me. We tried. Say no more, leave it to me. One bowl of ice cream coming right up. You're just gonna make a mess. Leave it alone, Pete. That's Captain Justice! Ooh, this machine is busted! It just needs a good pounding! It does not! Hey, do you think I could give it a shot? No, Captain Justice can't fix it. There ain't nothing you can do, kid. Maybe not, but there's no harm in trying. Yeah, and better you than him! Here you go! These are the directions for the machine. Mmm, how yummy! What a wonderful treat! I don't think I've ever had such delicious ice cream. Thank you. Uh, oh, oh dear. Uh, oh, Ventus. Just Ven is fine. Well, thank you, Ventus. this thing about you the other way. Hey, I just got an idea. We could let our customers make up their own favorite flavors of ice cream. 
Not with that machine. Well, the kid might have got it to work this one time. But junk like that needs to get junked. Don't you dare, no. Pete! Fine, but Captain Justice will return. About Captain Justice, you said his name is Pete? Yeah, he's the biggest troublemaker in town. I bet he's just calling himself Captain Justice because he wants to win the Million Dreams Award. What's the Million Dreams Award? That's one of the Dream Festival events. Everyone votes for who they think is the town's most exemplary citizen. I get it. So that's what he meant by vote. And if you win the award, you get a really cool prize. Oh, it's just a small token, nothing elaborate. The event is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. That's the spirit of the award. Well, that sounds nice enough. He just wants to get his grubby hands on the prize. And he knows that nobody's going to vote for him if he puts his own name on the ballot. But nobody's fooled. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I wish somebody was looking out for me. Huh? Unversed! <laughs> I'll take you on. Look out! Huh? <laughs> Thanks for piping up back there. I mean it. The name's Tara. It's nice to meet you, Tara. What are you nuts, running out onto the course like that? Yeah, that's against the rules! I'm sure you had your reasons, but I can't say that I approve either. Well, rules don't apply when you're up against the unversed. Rules don't apply? You sound just like Pete! Look, it's Captain Dark! Disguised in shadows, no rogue racer reigns! I am Captain Dark! And you must be the chump who made me miss a new track record! Hold on, how's come I don't know you? Somebody bringing in a ringer? Ah, oh, I'm not even a racer. Must be downright temptatious to try and stop a primo racer like me from getting a record, but we all gotta play by the rules, rookie. Now, just a second! You're the no-good cheater who's always breaking the rules! Well, I can't say racing interests me, but I need to defeat the unversed. Tell me what I've got to do. Are you talking about all those carts that look like scary, ugly monsters? Hmm. Hmm. Well, we've only ever seen the monsters on the track. That's it! Tara, you just need to enter the races! And while you're at it, take that Captain Dark down a notch or two. He's always breaking the rules and causing trouble! I have to become a racer? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now I'm sure I don't have to tell you. I know. I'll play by the rules. Oh. Yay! Terror's gonna be a new racer! Just come talk to me whenever you're ready. I'll get you signed up and everything! Oh, my cart must have sprung a spring! You yahoos just wait. Next time I'll clobber all of you! He's gone for good. Nobody's gonna vote for a weasel like you, Pete! Pete? Vote? What are you talking about? Chip means the Million Dreams Award. It's a very popular part of our dream festival. Everyone in town votes for who we think is the most exemplary citizen. And since everybody knows how much of a troublemaker Pete is, he probably figured wearing a disguise was the only way he'd get any votes. No votes, no prize. Yeah, the prize is all he really wants anyway. He doesn't care about being a good citizen. Oh, I think that's very sad. The award is supposed to help us appreciate how much we all look out for each other every day. 
Well, one thing I know for sure, I'm voting for Terra. Your racing really saved the day against those monster carts. Hip, hip, hooray for Terra! <laughs> well, I got something out of it too. I learned that you don't always have to bend the rules to reach your goals. All this time, I've been staring into the darkness. But that doesn't mean I have to jump in. Ta -da! We're in the mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Justice. Huh? What? Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who are you to walk away when the bona fide hero is uh, offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero, bona fide or. Somebody uh. come quick! Oh, what's that? Trouble? Captain Justice to the rescue! You? Oh, now that's a shame. Where is it? Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. What? Name your catastrophe! Those annoying monsters have turned up again over in Fruitball Plaza. They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters? Don't tell me the Inverst are here. Monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving. You uh, 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 fit them into my schedule. Gosh, I thought you said you were Captain Justice. You can't leave those menacing things running loose. They're ruining fruit ball. Huh? Hark, do you hear that? Somebody's calling for Captain Justice's help. Do not fear, I am on my way. Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait, but uh, I'll be back here in a jiff. Oh, I'm sure you will, Captain Useless. But I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. I'm anything but a hero, but maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. Someone needs to trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. I'll try. Just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works. My, you sure taught those monsters a lesson. You're the real hero in town, if you ask me. He's right, my dear. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. Who are you? I'm Minnie. And she's our queen. Oh, please excuse me, your majesty. Where are my manners? My name is Aqua. There's no need to be so formal. Just call me Minnie. <sighs> you see, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job protecting my kingdom. Oh, don't say that, Queen Minnie. We all know how hard it's been since the king set off the way he did. Don't you trouble yourself. Why, we wouldn't even think of putting on our yearly dream festival if we thought there was the slightest chance anything might go wrong. Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my hide. You can't count on him for anything. Wait. You're saying his real name is Pete? Well, it sure as sugar isn't Justice. Pete never does anything for anybody except Pete. That get up was just an act to get folks to vote for him. He wants to win the Million Dreams Award and hog the prize. Million Dreams Award? What is that? It's part of our dream festival. 
We all vote for who we think the most admirable citizen is. But Pete seems to have the wrong idea. He thinks that dressing up as a hero and proclaiming that he is one will win him votes. What really makes someone a hero isn't what they wear or what they say. It's the things they do and how they treat everyone. Well, in my book, Aqua here is number one. You got my heartfelt vote. <sighs> Thanks, Horace. I promise I'll try not to let you down. See that you don't. My vote's very important. Oh dear, he sounds serious. <laughs> Being popular is tough. Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Boy, oh boy! I hope it's the guy I voted for! I voted for him too! Now that we got so much business at the shop, maybe we'll be number one! Wow, Aka's good sure would be proud of us if we actually won! Yeah, and I bet Akadala would be pretty surprised too! Hello everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our Dream Festival. The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Tara. All three of you. <laughs> <laughs> You mean Ven and Tara were here? What do you mean? <laughs> There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. Oh. <laughs> Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. We counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you going to do about it? Huh. I'm going to let you cool off for a while. Wait, wait, what? Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow! Now, shall we continue the ceremony? With the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, Please come up and join me on the stage. Oh dear, it looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. I must have just missed them. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Royal Berry Ice Cream! 
Oh my, I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it. Delicious. You couldn't have picked a better flavor. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> Who does she think she is to be in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quite fool. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, then you can count on me. Just get me out of here and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. With your help, soon every world in existence will all be mine. Relentless. Hey, what you doing there? I told you, I'm book solid. N O spells forget it. Uh, what? And who in hell can answer to you? Can't you see I'm busy? Hey, Phil! I'm all signed up. Phil! All right, all right, I hear you. Now, would you keep it down already? Aha! <laughs> Beautiful. You happy now? You blew my cover. <laughs> okay. Fess up. I asked around and everybody says you're the guy. The trainer of heroes. True heroes. Really? You can teach that? Of course he can. Come on, Phil, please. I really want to be a hero. Look, we've been through this. I got two words for you. Student, teacher, ratio. One, two, three. I already got my hands full with this one. Come on, Herc. I'm low maintenance, I swear. Unburst monsters, huh? Hey, Phil, watch this. I'll show you what I'm made of. And I'll help, too. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> The games are coming up, so I'm gonna watch both of your matches, then I'll decide which of you rookies I want to train. Sweet! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna go sign up right now! The games, huh? Sounds fun! Sorry, kid. Captain Eager there just took the last spot. I don't understand. Phil, I, I thought you were my trainer. You want to be a true hero, Herc? Then you're gonna have to go out there and show me that everything I taught you so far is gonna pay off. But, Phil... Oh, and no more training sessions for a while. Wouldn't be fair if I helped you and not him. Hey, cheer up. So you gotta fight a couple of matches, no big deal. I'm Ventus. You want me to help you train? You'd really do that for me? Sure. Thanks, Ventus. I'm Hercules. Herc for short. Just call me Ven. You're gonna do fine. Thanks. I'm gonna head over to the Colosseum and warm up. Meet me in the vestibule, okay? You 
You want to become a true hero, huh? More than anything. See, my father is Zeus, the king of the gods up on Olympus. Whoa! Herc, you're a god? No, no, I'm mortal. When I was a baby, somebody stole me from my parents and figured out how to take away my godhood. And this true hero thing? It's the only way I can become a god again. If I become a true hero, I can rejoin my father and go back to Olympus. Wow. I guess you really got your work cut out for you. But what about you? How come you're here? Uh, I'm... I'm just trying to make some friends. Well, hey, you've done that already. Come on, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> you bet, Herc. All right, you bunch of rookies. It's time we go over the rules of the game, so listen up. All the matches are divided into two brackets, one for the East and one for the West. The winners from each bracket go head-to-head -head in the championship match. Now, I signed you two up for the West, because they already got a heavy hidden contender cleaning up over there in the East Bracket. And if you want to beat them, you're gonna have to hustle in there. Now move those sandals. Heavy hitting contender? Ben, come on! Uh, okay! Guess we made it. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Ven. Good. The other kid will be happy to hear that. No, I need you most of all, Phil. How else am I going to become a hero? Huh, about time you got it. Whoever wins, no hard feelings. Of course not. Holding a grudge wouldn't be very heroic. Hey, just making sure. You're not a hero yet. <laughs> True. This is really close. Hey, we got trouble! There's monsters loose in town, and if they get crashed the games, you can forget about the match. Real monsters? We have to stop them. Leave the monsters to me. This match is too important. You won't get past me! Huh? What about your match? Forget the match. No way I could let my friend fight alone. Because I'm a hero. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be one. Come on, let's finish this together. Sorry that I made you lose that match, Herc. Aw, oh, come on. You don't have to apologize. It was totally my decision. Ugh. What? You didn't <sighs> save any for me? Hey, you're here. Hey, I've set my sights on being a hero, too. I just don't run as fast, that's all. So you both threw the match? Who won, then? I left first, so it's not me. Yeah, but I was only seconds behind you. Still. Hey, I never said I'd coach the winner. All I said was I'd see the match, then decide. Look, being a hero takes more than just muscle. You gotta have heart and care about people. And sure, you both get high marks for that, but this time only one of you cared fast enough, and that makes all the difference. Then that means... Oh, man! I was this close! <sighs> well, that's life. I never really introduced myself. The name's Zack. Congratulations, Herc. Thanks, Zack. 
Yeah, well, we'll see if you're still thanking him when I'm through with you. You got a long road ahead of you, champ. Hey, don't count me out. I've still got plenty of big dreams to go with my lousy luck. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, be honest. You weren't really gonna stop training Herc, were you? Ah, of course not. I know that kid's gonna go the distance, but he was stuck in a rut. He just needed a little... incentive. It's, uh, Ventus, right? Well, thanks to you, Herc here is really shaped up. I owe you. Nah, I'm glad. I made a really good friend. Somebody to share a laugh with. Like Terra and Aqua. We'll patch things up. You're leaving? Yeah. My journey's not over yet. But you'll visit, right? I'll stop by once you're a true hero. Stop by once me and him are both heroes. Oh. So you mean never come back? Hey, watch it! <laughs> Stay back. You okay, huh? Yeah, thanks. <sighs> Guess they were too much for me. I'm just gonna have to train harder. You're pretty tough. It really handled those things. Are you here to enter the games? What games? The games games. To see who's strongest. One day, I'm gonna win them all and become a true hero. Hey! Where are you? Front and center right now, or I'm tacking on another thousand laps. Uh-oh. Gotta go. The Coliseum's just up ahead. I, I hope I get to see you fight there sometime! A competition. Hmm. I should find out how strong I really am. Jeez Louise, one chump after another. Or who's who of Decathlon disasters around here? All I need is one measly warrior tough enough to give Zeus a jolt of his own medicine. Wait. Dark, moody, powerful? Yes, he's perfect. This is it. How sad is this? Huh? Mm, pains me to see it. All that power going to waste. Who are you? Name is Hades, Lord of the Dead, God of the Underworld, yada yada, how you doing? Hey, let me guess. You're trying to put the kibosh on the darkness inside you. Am I right? Of course I'm right. Well, anyway, bad idea. Wait, what? Okay, stay with me. Darkness is inside everybody. Nothing to be ashamed of. You play nice with it, and darkness will be your best friend. But if you go and get all self-conscious and refuse to face it, the darkness will run over you like a debutante at a toga sale. And then where are you? Nowhere! Now me, I look at you, and I see potential. That's right, kid. You got the potential to conquer the darkness inside you. And I'll even give you some pointers. I mean, believe me, if anybody knows conquering, I know conquering. Well, let's hear it then. How do I conquer the darkness? Easy. You sign up for the games. I know, I know. Please, Lord Hades, the games. But hey, you would be surprised what you can learn in the heat of battle. And don't worry, I'll be right there to guide you every step of the way. I'm kind of what you'd call an expert in the art of darkness. Oh, decide fast. This is a limited time offer. When are you going to tell me how to conquer the darkness? Hold your chariot horses. You would not believe the bureaucracy involved with these things. Name? Terra. Kind of earthy, but all right. Now, height and weight. 
What's this? Favorite god? <laughs> Come on, Hades. There, ba boom. Easy peasy. I sense that you're already starting to get all warm and fuzzy with that darkness inside you. It's sweet, really. And hey, by the time you win the final match here, you'll have figured out how to conquer it for good. And don't worry, anything goes wrong, I'll make it all go away. Service with a smile. I got it. <laughs> okay, this is not what I had in mind. Uh, but hey, I can improvise. Time for Plan Beta. Pardon me, coming through. I'm gonna miss my match. Hello, Plan Beta. Hey, kid! Huh? Over here! Come here! Once I've conquered the darkness in my heart, I'll never have to fear it again. Super Warrior, see, right here, this, it's the power of darkness. Could have been yours, still could, if you open up to it. Hades! You were just playing me! The darkness will never have me! Help me. You've gotta... set my heart free. Forget it. It looks like I bet on the wrong dark horse. That kid doesn't have what it takes to handle darkness. You gonna make it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm finally free. Where is... He's gone. Man, how could I let a guy like him control me? I'll never live it down. <laughs> Thanks. Um... Tara. Thanks, Tara. I'm Zack. Hmm. Yep. Definitely. Tara. You're exactly what I pictured a hero would be. Not the way you look. There's something else about you. Well, I'm no hero. Trust me. Are you kidding? Listen to those cheers, man. You don't get to decide if you're a hero or not. They do. And they've already made up their mind. Whether you like it or not, you're their hero. <laughs> And mine, too. It's too bad. I really wanted to fight you fair and square. Maybe someday, Zack. <laughs> Sweet cheeks, I'll take care of this. Uh, oh. 
Hurt the royals! Boy, those wackos almost made euros out of me. Well, maybe if you weren't trying to show off. Who asked you, kid? You'll understand more when you're older. And stronger. Strong enough to be a hero. You think being strong is the same as being a hero? Sure. Mostly. Look how strong Terra is, and he's champion. Terra. So, sugar cakes. You got any plans for later? You know, I trained a few heroes in my time. Maybe I could recite your little epic poetry. Do you really know Terra? Of course I do. He's the local hero everybody's going gaga for. Oh, now I get it. You're one of his fans. Everywhere I go, it's Terra this, Terra that. More like Terra Bull. Oh, no. You see, I just want to track him down. Yeah. Tell me about it, sister. You and the rest of Greece. Kid shows up out of nowhere, goes and wins the first games he ever enters, dazzling the whole town, and then the nudnik up and vanishes. Everybody says Terra's the real thing. A true hero. I can't wait till I'm that tough. Right. He's so tough, he turned the last Shlemiel who faced him into a raving Yahoo. Come on, Phil. Be nice. So you're telling me he isn't here? Whoa, not so fast. He may not be here right now, but you never know. He could always decide he's gonna show up for the games. Yeah, to defend his title. And if you enter, there's always a chance you might run into him. I got an idea. I'll sign you up myself. And if you need a trainer, I'd be more than happy to put you through the ropes. But Phil, I had to practically beg you to agree to train me. Shh, pipe down, kid. You and she ain't got the same attributes, if you know what I mean. You know, you're right. Please sign me up for the games. My name is Aqua. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Now, let's start with a few basics. Thanks, I won't need a trainer. Ah, women. Never changes. So I suppose you still want me to go and get you signed up. Meet me in a vestibule when you're ready. All that's left is the final. And still no sign of Terra. The guy I'm supposed to fight is someone else named Zack. Aqua, right? Hey, I'm Zack, your opponent in the final. Man, finally! Once I beat you, I get to take on Terra! Terra? Why, I don't understand. Are you saying there's another match after the final? Uh-oh. Guess you didn't get the memo. Oh, Phil, would you tell her the rules? <clears throat> Fine. Here's how it is. The games are divided into two brackets. You got your east, you got your west. The winners from each bracket face off in a championship match. Now, right now, you are competing in the East, and we got no idea about the other side. For all we know, your boy Terra could be cruising through over in the West. Then I shouldn't be fighting matches here. I should be over there, looking for him. No, you, uh, can't. It's not allowed. Athletes are expressly forbidden from watching matches in the other bracket. Did he just make that up? How should I know? All right, fine. Look, you gotta just stay and fight this match. The two athletes I entered defaulted before they made it to the top. Give a guy a break. I got a reputation. Uh, uh, hey, do it for us too? All right, then. I'll finish what I started. You will? <laughs> oh, the gods are smiling on me today. I'll be waiting for you in the vestibule. Just tell me when you're ready to go. A match between Zack and Aqua? This I can't miss. It's nay on the action way. You got training to complete. Oh, that's right. Well, good luck, guys. I'll see you around. Aqua, give it your best out there. You too. I am so fired up! <sighs> Zack, mm. Tara is a friend <sighs> of mine. How exactly is it that you know him? He saved my life. During the last games, this dude named Hades tried to make Terra his pawn of darkness. And he used me to do it. 
He had some kind of magic, or something, that made me crazy. Gave me weird powers that I turned against Terra. But you know what? Terra freed me. And he didn't need the darkness to do it. I had no idea. Well, that's enough with the drama. I guess I'll see you in the ring, huh? I promised Terra I'd face him. Fair and square. The friendship between boys. It almost makes me jealous. Let's fight! Oh, I lost! I've got a long ways to go if I'm gonna become a hero. Really? It's you? Here I thought I'd drop in to see which muscle head was up next, and... Holy Hydras, it's just a little girl, a little lassie, a little bluebird. Hades! I'm sorry. Is that a mosquito? Where did I put that bug spray? Mosquito? So you're Hades. You use Zack and try to cast Terra into the darkness. So... I take it you're acquainted with the spineless chicken heart. Terra is my friend, and I hear he triumphed over the darkness. He's not spineless. <laughs> Funny, you know, because I heard different. <laughs> you see, it was Chickenheart who asked me for a little, shall we say, instruction on how to use darkness in the first place. Never! And he was so close to doing it, too, when the sap went and got cold feet! Now, if that ain't cowardly, I don't know what is. But you, my little bluebird, why not flit over here and demonstrate some real courage for the winning team? The darkness doesn't interest me. Well, that was rude. A no thank you, your godliness, might have sufficed. Fortunately, I still get to <clears throat> destroy you. Rules say you face me next. And I have a whole lot of darkness with your name on it. <laughs> get back here, Hades! <laughs> Man, if only I were up against him. Aqua. You gotta avenge me and Terra. I will. said one on one No fair Hades I suppose that's in the rules Rule number 2 Combatants may call for backup Maybe you better call yours Bluebird He's already here <laughs> Don't Zack I can do this on my own I knew that snow cone wouldn't cut it. I need a real titan. <laughs> Stay tuned! Stupid Hades. Next time I'll put him in his place. Oh, oh yeah, you're the champ. We gotta celebrate. Huh? That won't really be necessary. Hmm. Hey. How about one date? Uh, oh, you mean, no, I have to leave right away. Besides, I still have so much training to do. Fair enough. And I'm still a work in progress, after all. Huh? Well, how about this? I become a hero, then we go on a date. I... I can't make any promises. Yes! Great, it's settled. Herohood, here I come. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
Oh, it's over already? And I finished today's training in record time. Uh, Aqua, what's wrong? Your face is red. Uh, nothing, nothing. You want to be a hero too, right? Strength alone won't make you into one. I know, I know. Strength alone won't make me a true hero. I'm starting to figure that out. I look at you and Zack, and I can tell there's something more. You've got strength in your heart, too. Never stop trying. And one day you might just become a true hero after all. Tara, you too. Keep fighting. All the way out here? Is he the one? Yes, Grand Councilwoman. I've confined him until we can determine what he is. Take cover! Leave it to me to handle these fiends. Whatever you are, you're under arrest! Eventually. Unversed. I'll give you a fight. Very impressive display. Wait! You help! I have been imprisoned on ridiculous charges. Is that so? I am innocent scientist who created Galaxy's most destructive, <laughs> constructed species of all time. Why my experiment could annihilate creatures you fought so hard. He is bulletproof, fireproof, and can think faster than supercomputer. He can see in the dark and move objects 3,000 times his rather diminutive size. And for reasons preposterous, the Federation Council fears him. They take him away from me and throw me here in small, stuffy, rather badly lit cell. Because he's so powerful? Exactly. Everyone always gets antsy and pantses when somebody more powerful is in the neighborhood. You understand, perhaps? We must make to rescue him or he'll be banished to far reaches of space. <sighs> okay, then. Take me to him. Experiment 626. Mm -hmm. His name I give to adorable fluffy creature you're helping for to rescue. And I am genius scientist who created him, Dr. Jumba Jukiba. I'm Terra. Pleasure is all ours. 626 is this way. Hurry! Amazing, is it not? Such tremendous power in such itty-bitty package. Truly, he's the one and that's the only. 
the mightiest creature in all of galaxy, and his only singular instinct to destroy everything he touches. What? When did you give that back? Too late. It's already marked for destruction. No, stop! My friend gave me that! <sighs> oh. Friend? Are you joking? <laughs> Such concept is totally lost on 626. <laughs> Funny. This whole time I've been telling myself I want to be stronger, more independent. But the second I let my heart do the talking, I find out how little I really know myself, and how much I miss them. That experiment of yours. You sure about him? Maybe in his heart he wants friends, just like the rest of us. Impossible, Pesce! He has no actual feelings, only destructive instincts I have carefully chosen for him. Or perhaps you need another demonstration of my evil geniusness. <laughs> oh, you'll be all right, little one. What is it? Why have you returned? Maybe he's wondering what a friend is. Ridiculous! My name is Terra. Terra. Yes. I can't explain friendship. When you feel it, you'll know it. Not if I have any say in matter. You are only meant to think about what it is you will destroy next. Now, I fix what is wrong with you. Riddler, Riddler! Experiment 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell bay. Security, locate the fugitives immediately. Repeat, Experiment 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell bay. Well, can't stay here and get caught. Vend? Aqua? I'll find some way to make things right. Is there any world they haven't found? This looks like the Wayfinders. But how did it get here? <laughs> Tell me, where did you get that? Oh. Wait! You there. Has Experiment 626 passed through this area? I don't understand. Experiment what? Don't be dense. Dr. Jumbo Jukiba's genetic abomination. 626. Small, blue, vicious. Him? But he didn't look vicious. Ah, uh, so you have seen him. Yes. He's in the ventilation system. Blast! He got away again! Hold it right there. Why don't I know you? What section are you from? Um... 
I'm... Trying to stow away, are we? I said stay close. What is the meaning of this? Captain Gantu, did I not order you to apprehend the fugitives immediately? Yes, and I will have them in custody soon. They'd be locked up already if those wretched monsters were just... I mean, if I hadn't uncovered this potential stowaway. I wasn't trying to sneak on board. My name is Aqua. And those monsters? I followed them here. Please, I can handle this threat. Just give me a chance. Let me show you. The weapon I carry is the only one that can stop them. Our weapons are of no use against them? Is this true? Well, we haven't explored all our options. Nor do we have time to. We are fortunate you are here, Aqua. Your assistance would be most welcome. But Grand Councilwoman, you can't honestly believe what this stowaway says. I think you'll find I can. We have a crisis. Jumba and 626 remain at large, and these monsters are obstructing attempts to apprehend them. Or did I mishear your latest excuse as to why you've again failed to carry out your duties, Captain? Will you help us? Of course. Defeating them is my job. It's what I do best, ma'am. Then might I make one other request? Should you happen upon our fugitives, please do whatever you can to apprehend them intact. You want me to capture Dr. Jumba and Experiment 626? But you can't just... That's my job! You had your chance, Captain Gundu. Now you will stand down and await orders. <sighs> we will monitor the location of the monsters and keep you apprised. Thank you for your help, Aqua. Of course. Experiment 626 was carrying a wayfinder. I'd note that shape anywhere. Are Terra and Ven here too? You must be Experiment 626. I have orders to take you in. Sarah! What? I think you and I need to talk. <sighs> first things first. Thanks. I owe you. What is it you're looking for? Huh? Wait! I just need to ask you! This must be the Wayfinder that 626 was carrying around. Dr. Jumba and Experiment 626 have been sighted. At that time, the two of them were wandering around the launch deck. Would you see that they're secured? Is Experiment 626 really that dangerous of a creature? We must assume so. All right, then. I'll head over there now. It's time to give up. Then I will fix abnormality. And ridiculous behavior stops. Hold it right there. Huh? 
Dr. Jumba, Experiment 626. I've been authorized to take you into custody. So it really does belong to you. But where have you seen that shape? His copy he made of good luck charm that boy Terra showed to him. Terra said friend gave him charm, was very protective of it. He really said that to you? Yes. Then you're still all right, Terra. And now, because of Terra and his little bauble, my genius creation is hesitating in his genetically programmed destructive instincts. Just look at him! Huh? What are you doing? Our orders are to capture them alive! I've decided to take a new approach. All right, you two. Any last words before I blast you into a million pieces? Lala Patuki! I'm just Big Bone! Freeze! <laughs> Stop it! I warn you, stay out of it! I guess we have to do this the hard way. I'm not done with you yet. Enough! I observed everything on the monitor. I, I can explain. You've been of great service, Aqua. Thank you. <sighs> Captain Gantu, escort 626 to the asteroid to which he's been banished. When you return, you're back on patrol. Not patrol. Please, your highness. Would you consider sparing experiment 626? Spare him? He's an extremely dangerous creature. I cannot release such a menace. But it seems to me he's at least trying to make friends. And dangerous or not, I really believe he can succeed. Very well, Aqua. If he behaves himself, I will consider shortening his exit. Thank you, ma'am. I like the charm you made. Do you think maybe my circle of friends could become part of yours? My name is Aqua. My friends are Terra and Ventus. Get any more ideas? These guns are locked into your genetic signature. Huh. An intruder? All right, you don't get any funny ideas.
So you're the intruder! Identify yourself! My name is Ventus. The monster I was chasing boarded your ship. Nice try. If there was another intruder aboard, we'd have detected it. Huh? Intruder in the machinery bay! We lost control of the engines! It's some kind of monster! Now you tell me. Stay right there. I have lots of unpleasant questions to ask you. This is my fault. I have to do something! Huh? Then? Terra-Aqua! What? You know Terra and Aqua? Friend... Circle... Hey, is that a Wayfinder? Oh, huh? Huh? The engines are under too much stress! We're risking an explosion! What am I doing? There's no time! No, you need to stay here. It's too dangerous. Yeah. Oh. 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 I don't know how you did it, but you won't get away again. <laughs> you haven't fooled me. You can bat your eyes all you want at the Grand Councilwoman so she'll reconsider your sentence. But I see you for what you really are. An abomination that's only instinct is to destroy everything it touches. End of the line! Shouldn't be here. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's over. Cut it out. into you I see your wayfinder broke well don't worry friendship's more than an object friendship circle mm -hmm. <laughs> don't let the little mimic fool you you saw for yourself what kind of monster that thing is all it knows how to do is hurt and destroy. Monster? He helped me stop the monster! You must have triggered some sort of mutation, hidden in the little freak's genetic coding. Then, friend! That's right. We are friends. Better say your goodbyes now, because 626 is about to be destroyed! <laughs> stop that! <laughs> Come on! Sound the alert! Prisoners on the loose! Don't let them get away!
Move it. Ventus. But everybody just calls me Vent. Huh. Guess when I sat down to rest, I must have fallen asleep. But where'd you come from? Well, you see. Hmm? All right, all right, we're going. So long, Ben. Hey, where are you guys off to? King saw a shooting star, and we're gonna go hunt it down! A shooting star? You mind if I come along? Of course not! But you gotta agree to follow us! Yeah! It's, uh, right over! That way! By the Indian camp! Ready, man? Forward, march! Okay! here. Never seen you before. I'm Ventus. Call me Vent. Well, if you say so. Tension! Now then, ma'am, I don't suppose you'd want to capture some real pirate treasure? Real pirate treasure? Sure! Well, guess who caught sight of Hook right when he was stashing his treasure? What do you say we sneak in and grab it? Oh, boy! Let's go, let's go! Oh! Tinkerbell? What's gotten into you? We were all supposed to go hunt for a shooting star together. Forget that. Pirate treasure is way more fun. Tink, you're coming with us. Well, that's no way to respond to an invitation. Come on, Ben. You're a better sport than her, right? I'd love to join you, but first I want to find the shooting star. to me. If I desired your assistance, I'd have demanded it. We had the situation under control. Isn't that right, Smee? Oh, yes, Captain, completely. We would have cleaved those fiends to the brisket, we would. Why, I'd have given them a little of this and this. And don't think your efforts mean you'll get a share of me treasure, understand? I'm not after your precious box, Captain. I'm looking for a person. A boy, wearing a mask. Ring any bells? No, not a one. Figures. It's me, you blithering barnacle. We're off. We shall leave this place before the light draws them back again. Huh? Hey, hold on. What did you just say about the light? Ah, yes, it's heartbreaking, really. This chest, you see, contains light gathered from all around. And I've got an acquaintance, a boy, who's sure to try and seize it. A boy who's after the light. If it's not Venetus, then who? Hey, why don't I help you keep the light safe? Maybe you could tell me more about this boy who's troubling you. What's his name? Peter Pan! This chest must be brought to Skull Rock safely. Don't let that Peter Pan anywhere near it. Right. I got you covered. Well done. 
Pardon me, Captain, but it's about that shooting star I was mentioning to ye. Mr. Smee, I ordered you to drop that. I'll not have you gushing on about some shooting star. Yeah, but, but, Captain, most shooting stars twinkle for a bit and then they go out. But this one, it, it kept on sparkling and shining even after it crashed down. Why, what if it's really a big, enormous, priceless gemstone? Idiot! Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? <clears throat> We've a bit of business to attend to and must, I fear, step away. I trust you can see to things till I return? Sure. When Peter Pan gets here, I'll be waiting. Mickey's Star Shard? <laughs> my shooting star and a pixie! Must be my birthday. Let Tinkerbell go! Ha! Huh, one of Peter Pan's brats. Well, tell that cowardly sparrow, if he wants his precious Tinkerbell back, he'd best meet me at Mermaid Lagoon. Stop! Scram! I lost them. You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? <laughs> Look out below! Peter, help! Tinkerbell's been pixie napped. Then I'm too late. Hook's gonna pay for this. He said to meet him at Mermaid Lagoon. Gotta be an ambush. Huh, that old codfish thinks he's clever. Hey, I'm going too. Well, we have to hurry. Can you keep up? You bet. Beat it, man, ahoy! Man the long time and... Hey! Cannon fire? Where's it coming from? On the water! Over there! Tink, it's you! And you're all right! What? A strange fellow with a funny-looking sword has... <laughs> Hold on! I gotta stop that cannon! Okay, I'll go after Hook. Right. Tink, if you would. What? It's pixie dust. Bet you feel lighter now, don't you? That old codfish. Looks like he's found himself a new flunky. I'll fly down and distract him. Men, you move in and nab the treasure. Are you Peter Pan? That's me! The light is not yours to take. What do you want with the light? Light? What light? Look, Pan! We got the chest! No! Not yet, you blockheads! Hey! Look! <laughs> that hurt! Oh, sorry! 
Now what is this? Pirate treasure, of course. Jewels, doubloons, you know, the usual stuff. I've been guarding a pile of loot? Sounds like you've been tricked. I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. Say, what's your name anyway? Terra. Right then, Terra. Which way did Hook go? They said something about a shooting star. Shooting star? Tinkerbell must be in danger. Men, guard that treasure with your lives! Aye, aye, sir! You go and get him, Pan! Well, I should be on my way. As well. What's that? Tinkerbell, one of Peter Pan's dearest friends. Can I take a look? So long as I have his precious pixie, Pan's demise is all but assured. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. Just doing what my heart tells me. That's mutiny! And you'll walk the plank for it! <gasps> that sound! <laughs> Hooray! We sure show hook this time! Every star up there is another world. Huh? Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! for the pirate treasures. Hmm. Did you guys really want the jewels and gold that badly? Hmm? No, we don't care about that stuff. Uh, but a uh, pan was counting on us. I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! yeah! Real swell idea. Thanks! <gasps> Kind of makes me wonder what I'd put in there. <laughs> Alas, and so passeth a worthy opponent to think that his would be such an inglorious end. <laughs> At last, that scurvy brat will never trouble me again. 
I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hook. Swoggle on the eyes! No, don't tell me! Oh, Jimmy! Lost that Peter Pan! Oh, is that salt? No! Not again! You sister, stay away from me! I don't think so. The same chest I told you about. We snatched it right from Hook's hiding place. Huh? How come it's empty? Oh, uh, sorry, but we lost it, all the treasures. Oh, well. That's too bad. Aw, uh, who needs it? It was probably just full of dumb old jewels or doubloons or something anyways. We could just put what we treasure in there instead. If you wanna. Yeah, that's perfect. Instead of filling it up with jewels and gold and stuff, we'll put in what's truly special to us, the real riches. What are you putting in, Ben? I don't know. Hmm. How about this? Hmm, what is it? It's just something that one of my best friends gave me. So it's like a keepsake, huh? You sure you want to part with something that special? Yep. I don't need it if I've got Terra and Aqua. Our best memories are still ahead. All right, then. Next time you visit, we'll have an even bigger chest waiting. Enough for all those treasures and lots more. Okay, it's a deal. Wait, Tink. I'm pretty sure that belongs to a friend of mine. Do you think maybe I could hang on to it? Now, Tink! Thank you. Don't worry, men. No matter where that light takes him, then he'll always have friends waiting to meet him. Over there! Too bad, man. Tough break. But man! No buts. You know the rules. The first one to find and claim the treasure map gets to be the leader. And that's you. Leader? Of the expedition. Uh, we're going on a treasure hunt. And that's our map you got. What do you mean? I never said girls can't be part of the gang. Come on, Tink. The more the merrier. I'm sorry, but I have something else I need to take care of. Here, you keep it. Too bad. But rules are rules. I guess we'll just have to call off the treasure hunt. No! Alright, you win. 
I'll join you for one expedition. As far as I can tell, we're here. And this mark here is where we'll find the treasure. Enough pointing. Come on, let's go. Wait a second. We still don't even know our leader's name. I'm Peter Pan. The jealous one over here is Tinkerbell. And you are... Aqua. So you're Aqua. Huh? Now, first stop, Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, okay. I have you now, Peter Pan. Today's the day I shall be rid of you forever. I'm busy right now, Hook. We're on an expedition. Can't I show you up some other day? You show me up now! You can give back me treasure! Who's that? Ah, oh, that's just Captain Hook. He's a two-bit pirate codfish. I'll cleave you into two bits, boy! It's me! Oh, that was the captain's signal! Fire! We're sitting ducks out here! Run! What is it? The mark on the map points all the way up there! Ah, oh, relax. A little pixie dust and we'll be there in a jiffy. But we've never had to fly that high before. What if we fall? Hey, when did you two turn into cowards? Don't you think you're asking a bit much of them? This is between me and them, Aqua. Men, only the bravest of the brave can claim that treasure. Yeah, we know. Tink, if you would. We haven't got all day. Here we go! <laughs> Hey, aren't we back where we started? You mean we went all the way around Neverland for nothing? Well, you conquered all sorts of obstacles to get here. And to me, that's certainly not nothing. You know, I had you all wrong. You were just looking out for them back there. Being a good leader. Yeah, of course I was. You're too late, Peter mm -hmm. Pan! I'll be taking what's mine now! It's Hook! It's me? Secure me treasure. Aye, aye, Captain. Ah! What is it now? Captain, it's the treasure. It's been... Spit it out, you idiot! Hot fish! It's all junk! What do you mean, junk? Those are our treasures, Hook. What, what did you do with my treasure? Oh, we lost that at all. You what? You scurvy brats have crossed me for the last time. Hmm? Oh, thanks. That sound. Eat not you again. No, get away from me. It's me. Do something. It's me. Wait, Captain. <laughs> Is this? Oh, Ventus left that here. I guess it's a special keepsake or something. But don't worry about him. He said he would be all right without it. And then he promised to visit us again with even better treasures. Maybe enough to fill a hundred treasure chests. Then, he was here. <laughs> and someone else. What's the matter? It's nothing. 
Best that you stay here. So, have a good time hanging out with the kitties? How'd you get that? I think that kid's outgrown such a childish toy. If you ask my opinion. Just like, I've outgrown my need for you. You freak! Done it. He's finally finished. <sighs> ben, Tara, you can rest easy. Too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> Are you all right? What happened? I'm fine. Oh no! Look at Vent's treasure! It's okay, Peter. Whatever it is that binds us together isn't gonna break so easily. And that's our real treasure. I think Ventus knew that. That's why he left this behind. You must really be close. And that's something pretty special. You? Inventus and Terra, was it? One day, you should all come back. I'd like that. <laughs>